Are you struggling to keep your child engaged? Are you running out of activity ideas to keep them busy? If you said yes to this, then you're in the right place at the right time. I'm going to share with you five amazing ideas that you can use to keep your little one engaged. And most of these ideas work perfectly well for kids three and above, can also work for kids two and above depending on their developmental milestone. I'm Riddhi Devra, a certified parenting coach and I'm founder of Easy Parenting Hub, which is a digital school helping thousands of mothers across the world. So let's begin because I'm sure you're getting impatient and you want to know what those different ideas are. So the first game that I have for you is called Make a Word. Now this is very simple. All you need is like let's say four to five small pieces of paper. You can like have five small chits and on every chit you are going to write one letter. So let's say if I'm writing the word Lotus, I'm going to write L on one chit, O on one chit, T on one chit and like that till the letter S. Now I'm going to hide these chits in different places. And in very simple places, not too far, maybe inside the house only. Like let's say one inside the fridge, one can be on the desk where I usually work, one can be in the mandir in my house, one can be in the kitchen. So just like that, I'm going to distribute these chits in different places. Now I'm going to give my child like hints. So this is what I usually do with my son. So I give him hints like, you know, this is where you usually find mommy in the morning. So he has to go to that place, find that chit and collect that letter and keep it with himself. Then the next hint that I can give him is that this is where Papa works. So you can go to my husband's desk and get a chit from there and collect it. So just like that, I'm going to give him different hints till he gets all the five letters for the word Lotus. And now I'm going to tell him to unscramble the letters and tell me what the word is. So this is one game and you can do it with simple words like cat, bat, hat. And initially if your child does not know phonics and does not know how to unscramble the words, you can really help them with forming the word but let them at least go and find the letters for you so depending on the age of your child you can of course modify the game a little but this is a really fun game because it keeps them mentally active also physically active because they have to do a lot of running around so this is the first game the second game that i have for you is guess the object this is again very simple and the beauty of this game is that you really don't have to do anything so this is what you really need to do so you're going to give your child a hint your child has to guess what the object is. Once the child guesses what the object is, he has to go to the object, touch the object and call out the name loudly. So let me give you an example. So let's say if I'm trying to make my child guess the word chair. So I'm going to tell him that this is a piece of furniture. It's made of wood and we usually use it to rest when we feel very tired. So let's say if my child guesses chair, he has to go run to a chair, touch the chair and call out the word chair and then he has to come back to me and I'm going to give him another hint and just like that the game continues so you can tell him that you know this is something that keeps the food fresh so of course the answer is very obvious it's a fridge so he's going to go run to the fridge touch the fridge and call out the name fridge so this is very fun for them because they get to move around and also when they're moving around their brains are more active and they're able to retain information a lot better so this is this next game that I play with him and the third game that I play with him is called Who Spotted More? And this is again very simple. So all my games are very simple because I don't spend too much time creating it. Like, But this is again very simple. So let's say you can just stand on the balcony with your child and you can start uh, spotting all the different objects that you see. So let's say, you know, I say sky and then he'll say cloud and uh, sun, leaves, tree, buildings, people, road cars so, you know we are just going to take turns so i'm going to say one thing he's going to say one thing and the first person to run out of words loses the game so whoever can keep going till the end without stopping and can keep coming up with more and more words is the winner again this is a very beautiful game because this is going to make your child mindful of his or her environment because they'll now become more aware of that aware of the fact that there are so many things around us so you can play this on the balcony you can also play this indoor like in your bedroom or in your living room and you can start spotting things inside the house also improves their vocabulary because now you know they are learning new words so let's say you know you come up with a word which they could not come up with so now they know that next time when you're playing this game they are going to use this in order to win the game so that's the third game for you who spotted more the fourth game again which is a very simple game and I've just named it, I've given it, given it this name that 
I start where you end. So this is a very simple word game which maybe you've also played in the past with your child and it's really simple to so let's say if I make the word pat and pat ends with the sound t. So my child has to come up with a word with the letter t. So he's going to say tack and then you know again I have to make a word with p so it's going to be pen and then from with n he has to make a word so maybe he makes the word no so just like this the game continues and again the first person to run out of words or first person to get stuck loses this game again it's a great way to improve their vocabulary also the sounds of the letters and you can just stop whenever you want this is like an open ended game so you can keep playing as many rounds as you wish to and don't be pushy don't force them to play with you if they don't wish to but it's a great way to you know keep them engaged and also do something productive and fun with them and the last idea that i have for you and the last game which i play a lot with my son is called what's your question and uh, just uh, you know just build it up a little before you start playing so just tell your child that you know i'm going to play something really exciting today and you're going to learn a lot of fun things about your mother so are you excited to learn a lot of fun things about your mother and then you would tell him the rules tell them the rules so basically you know the rule is very simple you ask a question and your child gets to ask you a question and this is a great way because you will get to know your child a lot better so very simple questions that you know what's your favorite color what's your favorite food who's your best friend did you make any new friends and your child can also ask you who's your favorite person why what is it that you do why do you do what you do and very and you will be very surprised by the kind of questions they ask because sometimes they can be very very creative about the questions that they are asking so these are five very easy games the beauty is that you can even play this on the go in the car most of them i usually play a lot of these games when we are on the flight when we are traveling from one place to the other and it's nice because it keeps them distracted keeps them mentally stimulated they get to learn a few new things you get to know your child better and a beautiful way to bond and connect with your child so these are five fun ways and if you want more such fun ideas make sure you subscribe to my channel and also join me for my next webinar where i'll share with you some very easy tools and techniques to feel good about your motherhood journey so make sure you do that and with that i'll see you in the next video